Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Saturday the 7th of August. The weekend is here, time to relax and play Sudoku. If you haven't been relaxing and playing Sudoku for the other days of the week. Um, today is lauded as expert day for the uh, Guardian. Excuse me while I try and secure this piece of paper to the table um, expert day but we're not really sure what that means sometimes it really is sometimes it really isn't um, we'll get on to that in a second just before I make a point of saying something that's in the news and something that's in the news are the dead zones that are spreading along the Oregon coast in the Gulf of Mexico and this is uh, a dead zone is an area of oxygen depleted water uh, where things can't live um, obviously not particularly um, good um, why is it uh, happening well a possible cause is that fertilizers are draining off from farm areas uh, and this uh, produces algae and because of the climate change as well we uh, it multiply multiplies the effect um, of growing algae and of course this is uh, this can affect the ecosystem and causing fewer fish and crab and shrimps etc uh, food stuff for humans but also very important in terms of the ecosystem okay um, so that's the uh, yet more effects of uh, climate change that are causing problems for the planet Okay, let's go on with our expert level Sudoku. If you've never played Sudoku before, a quick uh, explanation of the rules. Let's begin down here because look at this block here. You see this block here? You can see lots of numbers. 2, 8, 9, 7, 3, 5. Can't see 1, we can't see 4, and we can't see 6. But those are the three numbers that will have to fit into this diagonal group of uh, empty squares here because what we do is fit the numbers 1 to 9 into each block. Also, we need numbers 1 to 9 in each column. Now you can see there are four numbers already in this column, and numbers 1 to 9 in each row as well. So every column, row, and block, these nine square blocks, need the numbers 1 to 9. And each number can appear once only in its uh, row um, or block, or column indeed. So we, uh, we look for numbers uh, and, and how they can uh, uh, fit into only one position. So this 5, for example, cannot reappear in this column, so no 5 down here. This 5 means this is blocking down here, and so we know there's only one square left. So 5's got to go there. And we look around the board and try, try to get a feel for it. It's the first uh, thing because um, I don't play these games um, before starting the video. So I have absolutely no idea how easy or difficult it's going to be. And, and I'm quite prone to making mistakes. I should uh, warn you in advance. Um, it probably won't be a perfect game. Rarely is it. Um, okay, so the three numbers that are missing here are 1, 4, and 6, right? We don't have a 1, and you can see no 4, we don't have a 6, but this 1 stops this square from being a This square is cannot be a 1 because of this square in this column, and this same square can't be a 4 because we have a 4 in this row. So if it's not 1 and not 4, then it's got to be 6, which is the other number, right? And so now we know 1 and 4 are in these two empty squares in that block. But we can't tell which is which just yet. So we have to leave off on that and look somewhere else for other things.
I keep looking at this row, I'm seeing 3 limited to this square and this square. Um, 2 is blocked here and here, so 2 is possible in these two squares. 7 is blocked here and here, so 7 is available in these two squares. <laughs> Never quite getting there, do you know? And 1 is just blocked in this square, so we've got 3 possibilities. Hmm. Not quite enough. Not quite enough information. I hear neighbors visiting each other saying hello. I'm seeing lots of um, paired candidates, possibilities, but I'm not seeing uh, enough, or indeed any, absolute certainties just yet. Um, but I have a feeling they're there, just can't see them yet. It takes a while, it is morning, right? Pretty early here too, actually. I'm doing not doing very well here. Um, that, that's believe it or not. Um, if you're new to Sudoku, that's good, not bad, because we enjoy the challenge. I mean, it's why we play the game. We like it when games are difficult. Um, if the game is always um, easy, um, there's no challenge and there's no point in playing the game. I think so. Much better when there is some challenge. So. Um, I've only got a couple of numbers, um, but I can't see any other easy uh, numbers to fill in. So, with that in mind, what I'm going to do now is to put in some pencil marks. Now, pencil marks are um, a marking of a number in a small place. Um, remember, we have 1 and 4 to appear in this block. So, what I'll do is put numbers 1 and 4 in small numbers like this to indicate that they are possible candidates for those particular squares. And I'm going to go across the board looking at possible places where things can go. For example, this 5 blocking across here, 5 blocking across here, so this row is blocked, this row is blocked, and 5 blocking down here. So I know that 5 can only fit in either this square or this square in this block. I see the 7 blocking down here, and 7 blocking down here and 7 blocking across so I know that 7 is either here or here 7 blocking across here so 7 is either here or here 7 blocking up here remember it's got to appear in one of these two squares so we can take it that it cannot reappear again in this column okay so blocking up here blocking down here and that's 7 so 7 is available in those two places there um, up here, 7 blocking up here, 7 across here, 7 across here, gives me two places. <laughs> My neighbours are enjoying their morning chat. Uh, 5 blocking across here, 5 blocking across here, 5 blocking up this column, gives me 5s in those two squares there. Um, okay, so six blocking across this column here, six blocking across, uh, row, sorry, row here, six blocking across this row here, gives me a pair of sixes um, in those squares there. Uh, 
six blocking across this row, six blocking across this row, and this six blocking down here. Gives me a pair of sixes in those squares there. This six blocking across this row. Huh. Oh no, sorry. I put it in already. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> get with it, get with it. Uh, here we go. Six blocking up this column, I should say. Six blocking up this column and six across here gives me a six as a pair here. Now this is kind of useful. Seven, five, six as part of a pair. Three different possibilities in one square. Normally this means that if you get one of these numbers, I mean if I get a 6 here, that means the 7 and 5 I can also get. Uh, it normally drops It normally drops uh, like that. Or, you know, in, in most situations you're going to find that if you've got um, uh, three parts of a pair in one cell, the rest of the cell drops very easily when you get just one number, usually. It appears like that. Not always, but usually. Well, I'm not even doing very well on finding a lot of pairs here. And uh, if you haven't played Sudoku before, pairs are the important thing. That we need to register. Nine blocking across here, nine blocking across here gives me nine in these two squares here. Oh look, nine blocking across here, this is what I should have looked for before, gives us nine in these two squares. Now this is useful because now seven and nine is a pair here, so um, we know that this nine here actually can't be true now because nine is in this column here, and so now we can place our nine here and our 7 here because that was only one, the other, only other place to put a 7. And now we can see what's missing in this column. Well, we don't have a 1 yet, and this one says that 1 cannot go there. Um, and there's only one more number to get. I believe it's an 8. Don't yet have an 8 in this column, so 8 goes there. also means this 8 blocking up here means we can place candidate 8 here like this now. The 1 blocking across here means we can place candidate 1 in these two squares. Uh, now what is missing across here, the, these two squares here, we are missing 1 and 2 because we have 7 and 9 in these two squares so we know that 1 and 2 must appear in these two squares here like this now. Um, Okay, so is, 2 is limited to the bottom row here, but we can't uh, narrow it down to a pair just yet. So still keep on walking, as Johnny Walker says. 8 blocking up here, 8 blocking up here, 8 blocking across here. Gives me a pair of 8s here. 1 blocking across here, 1 blocking across here, and 1 blocking up here gives me a pair of 1s here. I'm really hopeful that this particular block is going to be uh, um, useful to us. Uh, 7 blocking across here, 7 blocking across here, and 7 up here now gives us a pair of 7s in these two squares. The 6 blocking up here and 6 blocking here means 6 must go either here or here.
Okay, I believe we have three numbers missing in this row. And I believe they are one, two, and three, right? We don't have a one, two, or a three here, but one and two are both blocking this square here. So that's got to be a three now. So we know this is a one or two. We know this is a one or two, but actually that's, uh, we can't um, say which it is just yet. Um, I don't think I can get any more stuff in terms of pairs now. I think that's all I can do. I think that's all I can do. Um, so I'm going to put in some other candidates now. Um, I mentioned up here that I, can, I, know I have some other restrictions as well. This, um, uh, not pairs, but other restrictions. So, okay, nine blocking up here, nine blocking up here. So nine is limited to this column here. Now, it's not a pair, it's a triple. So I'm going to put it in the bottom right. You'll notice in my notation, I put pairs in the top left. Pair within a block, I put in the top left of this, the cell. Um, this three blocking up here, three blocking up here, so three is limited to the right hand column here as well. Um, okay, just a couple of numbers to get now. So two blocks across here two blocks up here like this and so two is available in four possible squares like this um, unfortunately for me I was paused I was uh, forced to pause the video there when I say pause I mean stop for a couple of hours um, so uh, although you won't know, I've been away for a couple of hours and uh, now I have to start again and I have completely forgotten everything that I was doing. But I do know that the last thing I was doing was looking at this um, block here, filling in candidates, but I've forgotten where everything else goes. So it looks like I've done one, two and a three. And uh, so I suppose I'm looking for four. Um, I've got everything else. <coughs> Excuse me, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So four goes uh, um, into every other square. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything I can do to mitigate four, is there? Okay, so... Um, well, as I say, I think I just, well, I was hoping that um, I would get one number here. <clears throat> no, so, okay, so down here now then, so two, let's uh, do this, finish this shoot here, two blocks this square, so two is available like this, three we've got, four can go anywhere. Five is blocking this square here. Six, seven, eight, nine. We've got. Um, okay. Um, this is done over here, wasn't it? Uh, right over here, we are missing uh, two and four. Four blocks here. So four is. In these squares here and two we don't know anything about so 
so we can go anywhere. Um, across here, one blocking across here, one blocking down here. So one is available like this. Two can go anywhere. <clears throat> three blocks across this row and across this row and is limited to the top row in this block here and um, four we've got five blocks across this row and down here so there are three possible spaces for five six we've got already seven we've got already we haven't got eight yet eight blocks across this lower row and nothing intersecting here so we have to put eight into these positions hmm. Hmm, nope nothing i can do right down here one blocking down here, so that gives us a one like this. It's quite a lot of external noise now since it's much later in the morning than when I started this video. Uh, two blocking across this row, and oh yeah, I remember now. One and two blocking across here, so two is limited to the bottom row. Hey, how did I put one in here? That's because I've entirely forgotten what I learned before. Um, right, so one is like that, two is like that, three three is limited to the middle row here four is blocked in the middle row and down here five we've got already, six, seven we've got already eight blocks here and here, so eight is in the middle row now, do I have 5, 8, and 3 here? Yes, I do. I could have, I could have worked that out, couldn't I? I've got 5, 8, and 3 here. <sighs> Silly me. Okay. And so 9 is blocking across here and here, down here. So that means corner squares, 9 is available. Okay, 5, 8, 3 here. Okay. Ooh, okay, so up here, three blocks this square, so three is available. Like this, four can go anywhere. Five we've got, six we've got, seven, eight, just a nine to get, and nine can go anywhere. In fact, no, 9 is in this square here, isn't it? Because 9 blocks up here, I've just realised. So that is a 9 now. Okay. Um, so let's remove this candidate 9 here, giving us 7, 4. So now we've got 7, 4 and 7, 4. That's good because now we can get rid of any 7s or 4s in this column, meaning we get rid of that and that. So that gives us a pair of 8 and 9. So... Um, now we can get rid of any 8s and 9s within this block, if there are any. Um, but there aren't any. Okay. <laughs> okay, 8 and 9 just there. Um, is there anything else? Well, I see four, two, four, two, three. So I know this is going to be okay. So I've seen something. So we've got four, three, four, two, four, three. Remember, this and this block are completing candidates. Um, so those three numbers in three squares, and this is eight and nine. So this will also have to be eight or nine, but it can't be a nine. That's got to be an eight, and that's got to be a nine, and this must be an eight now. Okay, so I just did a little bit of uh, stuff. Yeah, but, um, right, so then nine blocks across here now. So nine is going to be a pair in these two squares, like that. 
2 is going to be a pair across the top now, like this. So that means 2 can't exist in this row anymore, so we'll get rid of 2 there. And in fact, we know that 2 is actually a pair. I'm going to promote it to a pair, uh, like so. Um, now, four blocks up here, so four is a pair down here, which means that we can block, or remove I should say, candidate four in this column, like this, down here. And uh, what's the other missing number? Three, I guess. Okay, that can go anywhere. Okay, let's see what we can do now, shall we? Ah, got to get rid of the fours in this column here. Okay, so that leaves with 8, 1, 2 there, and 8, 2 there, and 1, 2 there, so that's three numbers there, and then 7, 9, okay. So that looks in order. Um, and so now, this is the only 4 in this particular block, right? There's no other candidate 4, we've removed all other candidate 4s. So 4 must be here like that. And now we can get rid of this candidate 4 here. Leaving us with a 5 and a 2. Um, okay. Um, okay, sorry for the silence. I am studying the ball, trying to actually become reacquainted with it because um, I have forgotten so much in the time that I was away. I usually like to play these games in one take. I really dislike um, having to stop in the middle, but I have no choice. Um, and but it, it, it um, I like to play it in one take for two reasons. It shows that I am doing it kind of live as it were but also because it, it um, you know you get a, you get you can get to remember where many of the numbers are and if you have to go away and come back again in my case I certainly always forget where the numbers were Um, Um, okay, I believe I've found a quadruple. A 921913923. So that's 912912 and 3, four numbers in four squares. 921913923. 9123 in four squares. Okay, so we can remove any 912 
or threes, uh, which will get rid of those three there, uh, leaving us with a pair of eight and five in this column, eight five here, eight five here, and that's correct. Here comes the local fruit seller, if you're wondering what that sound is in the background. Selling fruit direct from the countryside, he's saying. Dragon fruit, in fact, from Rajburi province in Thailand, direct to your door. Hmm, but it's not helping me find the answers. Perhaps I need some of that fruit to uh, help clear my head. And I've made eliminations, you know, I should be, should be nearly there. I'm gonna promote these threes to the top left here just to help me see better these are the only candidate threes now available so I'm going to promote them ah aha uh -huh. and down here two okay right now I'm glad I did it see this is why looking for pairs is so important all right because candidate three here, candidate three here. So this is the left row and the middle row. We don't have any candidate threes available anymore in the right hand column. Same thing here, left row, left column, sorry, and middle column, no right column. So up here, we know that three must in fact be a pair here or here like this. It cannot exist in these two squares now. Is that going to give us something? <laughs> I'm still desperately hoping. Um, so now we've got anything along here. 9, 4, 9, 3. Hmm. No. Um... Still not helping really. Um, this is a real inch by inch kind of puzzle. I think it may have hit the uh, expert level. Certainly for newspapers, it's probably hit the uh, level of expert for today. Either that or I'm being particularly slow. Okay, I think. I've discovered another tr uh, quadruple. I think I've got 9, 2, 1, 2, 1, 9, 4, and 2, 4. Is that four numbers? 4, 9, 2, 1. 9, 2, 1, 9, 2, 1. Yes, it is. So this, just again, this square, this square, this square, and this square has 4, 9, 2, or 1 in it. Um, and so we can remove any 492s or 1s in this column that do not exist in those squares. This square, this square. So we can get rid of the 2 and the 1 there. And the 2 here. And 4921, so great because that's going to give us a single. 
Okay, so that gives us a six here now, and a six here now because that was a pair. Okay, and get rid of the six there, leaving us with the seven four. Still not finishing off though. <laughs> It's a nice puzzle today, really nice. Um, so what are we left with? Five, three, eight here, five, three, eight here, and eight, five here, yes. Um, that is, um, in terms of error checking, that is right. Okay, so now we have 8, 5 and 8, 5 here in these two squares. So we can remove 8s and 5s in this block. Okay, when we do that, that's going to finish the puzzle. I know that's going to give us the puzzle, I'm sure of it. Because that's going to give us a single 3 here. And when we've done that 3, we're left with a single 2 here and a 1 here like this. Now this 1 can't exist. So 1 is here. I'm overwriting an 8. That goes there. That's a 2 we know now. This 8 means that this is a 5, and that's an 8. Uh, we have an 8 here, so this must be a 3 now. We can get rid of candidate 3 here. Leaving us with 5, 8, a pair of 5 and 8 here, okay. And this 8 means that that can't be an 8, so that's a 5, and that's our 8 there. I'm convinced it's enough. I'm sure it's going to be enough. Okay, five across here now means that's a two. Uh, two up here we had as part of a pair, so this can't be a two. In fact, it's got to be a four, and the two is here like this. This four means that this is a three now. Okay. Let's get rid of candidate three here, leaving us with six and four. This one now means that this has to be a two, and this is our one. Uh, six, four, six, four, seven, four. I've got to remove something along here, I'm sure, because I've got four numbers, so if something is wrong. The 2 has got to go now, so let's get rid of candidate 2. Oops. So 5, 4, 7, 4, 7, 5, 4. Okay. Uh, 7, 4, 7, 4. That looks to be okay, too. This 2 has got to go here. That's going to give me a pair of threes. I'm going to promote these threes to the top just so that I can see more easily. Well, we still are working on it, <laughs> but I'm sure we've got enough. We must have enough by now, I'm sure of it. Okay, this 4 means that I've got to get rid of candidate 4 in this block. Okay, there we go. And down here. Okay, and of course, 4 down here means that that's our 1, that's our 4 now. So 1 blocking this square, 1 is in here. Now 3 is part of a pair, so 3 goes up here, 5. Okay, and the 7 and 6 have to go like that. I was hoping to get that block right from the start, but it took a long time to get it to fall. But you just need a couple of numbers and it will drop everything. Uh, six here means that's a four, and that's a six. The four here now means that's a nine, so that's a three, so that's a two, and that's the four. One number to get down here now. Uh, it's a 
two, I believe. Okay. Um, almost done. Missing number here is seven. Seven blocking here, seven blocking here. So that's a seven. And that's a four, and that's a five. Uh, over here, down here now. Let's see. Uh, what number do we have? Four blocking across here now. Four blocking this square. So that's our four. Seven is the last number there. That's a nine. That's a seven. Uh, the nine or one here now. So that's our one and that's our nine. And that's our expert level puzzle. Well, I enjoyed that. A couple of quadruples I had to find. Um, I'm not sure if you used a different method to find yours. But um, uh, a most enjoyable expert level puzzle from the Guardian uh, no, uh, yes, The Guardian, I nearly said The Observer, it is Saturday, not Sunday. The Guardian expert level puzzle, um, I enjoyed that, I hope you did too, thank you very much. And please rejoin me anytime you feel like it, bye bye.